Okay, today I'm going to talk about proto-oncogenes. Proto-oncogenes are normal, are normal genes present normally in the cell, responsible for synthesis receptors, messenger systems, or involved in the process of nuclear transcription. So, you need to know this topic over four levels or four steps. The first step in the green, there is in the cell something called receptors, right? This is in the cell membrane kind of receptors. When you will go inside the cells, you will see messengers system, okay? Messengers system or messenger signaling. The messenger signaling that are really kind of interesting in case of proto-oncogene, you need to know there is a signal called GTP signal transduction okay and another example of messengers is non-receptor tyrosine kinase activity okay non-receptor tyrosine kinase activity when you will go deep inside the cell now you will go deep inside the cell you will see this now we are going we are now inside the nucleus so this is basically the nucleus when you will go inside the nucleus, you will see a process. There is a process called nuclear transcription, responsible for transcription of the DNA. So this is nuclear transcription process. So again, three important concepts in the, in the green, receptors, and then messengers inside the cell. I mean, this is the cytoplasm and the nuclear transcription process, which is inside the nucleus. Now, what is the function of proto-oncogenes? You have two kinds of proto-oncogenes responsible for making receptors. There is a gene called RET gene and another gene called EHER, sorry, and ERBB2 genes. Okay, ERBB2 -B -B or ERB2 genes. RET gene responsible for synthesis of receptors. HER responsible for synthesis of receptors and ERBB2 responsible of receptor synthesis. And uh, so when you will go inside the cell, the messenger system, GTP, usually GTP, uh, GT, usually GTP signaling formed by another kind of gene, which is RAS gene. And in case of no receptor tyrosine kinase activity formed by another kind of gene, which is ABL gene, okay? ABL gene. When you will go inside you can have transcription to receptors or to genes which are proto-oncogenes which are again normally present in the body to proto-oncogenes responsible for nuclear trans transcription you will see C-MIC oncogene and N-MIC oncogene. Okay? C-MIC and N-MIC oncogene. This is the level 2. Again, so the proto-oncogene, these are in the pink, the, 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 in the pink, these are proto-oncogenes. So you will see red, which is proto-oncogenes, HER and ERP2 receptor. For, these are responsible for synthesis of receptors. RAS, responsible for synthesis of GTP signal. ABR, ABL, non-receptor tyrosine kinase activity. Two nuclear, this is important, two nuclear proto-oncogenes. The rest of them, they are non-nuclear. This is a nuclear proto-oncogenes, we call this a nucleus. To nuclear proto-oncogenes, C-MIC and N-MIC proto-oncogenes. Okay, what else now? What is the problem? Every oncogene or uh, every proto-oncogene have got a problem and transmit to an oncogene. So what is the problem in case of red gene? You will see in case of red gene point mutation. Okay, here you will, this gene will suffer from point mutation. While here and ERB2, the problem is amplification problem amplification problem another point mutation example is ras also this will get point mutation undergo point mutation so lead to formation of proto oncogene and regarding cmic cmic undergo translocation okay and nmic undergo amplification amplification which is again the same as HER ERB2 okay finally ABL is translocation translocation abnormality so so now I think now I think you have better understand you have a good picture so what are proto-oncogenes proto-oncogenes which is RAS normally RAS normally undergo point mutation lead to the formation of what 
oncogenes. So proton oncogenes converted to specific process, whether point mutation, translocation, point mutation, amplification, into oncogenes, which will be abnormal. So now, which is level 3 in the yellow, red gene, proto-oncogene, undergo point mutation. Now you will see red oncogenes. What is the disease? Men, type 2A and B. HER, ERB2, undergo amplification, lead to a disease called breast cancer. Okay? RAS, undergo point mutation, lead to disease called colon cancer, leukemia, okay, and maybe bacterias. Okay? CMIC undergo translocation abnormality between chromosome 8 and 14, Birgit. Okay, this is Birgit's lymphoma. And MIC from the name N undergo amplification lead to the formation of neuroblastoma. And finally, ABL undergo translocation between chromosome 9 and 22, the disease will called CML, chronic myeloid leukemia. So again, it is in a three level. How I will get chronic myeloid leukemia from translocation of the proto-oncogene ABL? Again, ABL normally present in the body as a proto-oncogene. When it undergo a translocation, you will lead to the oncogene CML. RET undergo point mutation men. HER, ERB2 undergo amplification lead to the breast cancer. RAS, point mutation oncogene. Translocation and CMIC lead to the formation of Birkitt and NMIC amplification lead to the formation of neuroplastoma. Now, what are the nuclear, pro kind, nuclear kind of oncogenes or nuclear kind of proto-oncogenes is CMIC and NMIC? What is the gene? What are the, what is the process of abnormality in CMIC is translocation. Now I get again another question. What is the process of abnormality in RET is point mutation. What is the process of abnormality in ABL is translocation. Now you'll see there are a lot, a lot, I can tell you a lot of questions about, about only this page. RET responsible for formation of receptors. ABL responsible for formation of non-receptor tyrosine kinase activity, which is kind of messenger systems. And MIC responsible for nuclear transcription, which share with CMIC. So you need to know this, this topic very well and in a great detail. Once you will understand the whole cell cycle, you will get easily to understand the, the, the any any table of the topic because usually oncogene and tumor suppressor gene, which I'm going to talk about in the next, next lecture, usually organized in books in kind of tables and you will just memorize and you don't understand what's going on here. Now you have a better explanation. Red point mutation meant to AB receptors, HER, ERP2, breast cancer amplifications receptors and and another kind and all of other protein, proto-oncogene we discuss it. And good luck for you.